Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. It's 840, one sleep away from Robbie Burns Day. You know a lot about that, Daryl. I do know a little bit about Robbie Burns. You also know a lot about the alcohol that we could possibly drink to celebrate him. I, I think whiskey immediately when I think Robbie Burns. Well, you do, right? So it's it's the bar of the Ayrshire. Uh, January 25th is his day. Everybody's supposed to get together, read some poetry, and drink some Scottish whiskey. But it wasn't always just whiskey. Uh, but of course, you have to start with whiskey. And Scotch whiskey, I'm going to start out with something that's a little interesting. A lot of people are starting to drink Scotch whiskey right now. This is the Deanston Virgin Oak. So this is aged in a brand new barrel, retails for under $50. This is my starter whiskey. You want to start drinking Scotch whiskey? Pick up a bottle of Deanston Virgin Oak and start your journey. So whiskey is a journey. It's a journey. All All right, right, don't start with the big, heavy, peated stuff. Nice, soft, sweet. It's all natural, no chill filtration, no color added as well. Is there a difference between Irish whiskey and Scottish whiskey? Yeah, Irish whiskey, Canadian whiskey, American whiskey, everybody has their own rules. The difference between Irish whiskey and Scottish whiskey is mostly down to the distillation. In Scotland, they tend to distill only twice. In Ireland, they'll do three times, which makes a lighter, smoother spirit, and they use column stills rather than pot stills. Scotland still wants their whiskeys to be thick and robust. All right, well, they're taking some pride in it. Um, yeah. uh, other things that you could drink to toast Robbie Burns? Totally. Tomorrow? Well, Robbie Burns didn't only drink whiskey. In fact, he wrote about all kinds of different things, including fine Scottish ale. And this is the Innocent Gun. So if you're not a whiskey fan, you can drink great Scottish beer. This is Innocent Gun. Everything that Innocent Gun produces is aged in a wooden barrel, not in a stainless steel like most modern breweries. Like you go down to, you know, Steel Toad or Steel and Oak, they've got big steel uh, uh Containers. Everything at Innocent Gun is done old school in the barrel, which gives that nice, rich, warming feeling. I call these great winter beers. I smell this and I smell a good time. That's yeah. what I think of. I it's think I'm, I'm at a good fantastic. place. I'm having great conversation. Reading a little poetry as well, you know? You whip open to a mouse and you mm. read a, you, you drink an Innocent Gun. That's a pretty darn good flavor profile. All right. Now, of course, Scotland is famous for its whiskey, but they have a great spirit culture there as well. So if you're not into beer and you're not into whiskey, but you're one of the many, many, many people in Vancouver and around the world that love gin, Scotland is an iconic gin producing nation. And one of my favorites is the Botanist by my absolute favorite distillery in uh, Scotland. This is made by Brooklotti on Isla. Isla is a beautiful little island on the west coast of Scotland. I love the whiskeys and the stuff that comes off that island so much. My daughter's middle name is Isla. I'm, oh, that's beautiful, I named Darryl. her after a Scotch whiskey producing <laughs> island. <laughs> I named my son after a character, a person on Survivor, so oh, that's okay. cheers cool. to inspiration. I was, I was named for the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, so <laughs> everybody gets a thing. Why does, it, I smell lemon when I smell yeah, this. Yeah, so you get the nice lemon punch, you get the juniper. One of the things I love about the botanist, 22 botanicals from this, in this blend, uh, are hand harvested on Isla alone, including their own species of juniper that grows nowhere else in the world and mm -hmm. it gives that nice lemony kick. This is my absolute favorite gin and tonic in the world. It's strong. Mm. And that's why when you, uh, just drink, drinking straight gin is always a little bit Wait, of a tough thing. Why, why did I go for a second sip after I said it was strong? Because it's delicious too, right? And really quick, uh, another inspiration for you for toasting Robbie Burns tomorrow? We gotta go back. Uh, it's it's hilarious. I, I, this was one of my mom's favorite. Drambui. I mean, it was kind of forgotten for about 20 years. And now all people, you remember Drambui? Everybody's yep, yep. talking about the Isle of Sky liqueur. There's all kinds of great stuff. The Rusty Nail is a classic cocktail that's creeping up on cocktail lists all over the city, has to be made with Drambuie, and make sure the clove is in there because the clove is the rusty nail. All right, cheers to Robbie Burns. Enjoy it tomorrow. Mm. How delicious is that? Oh, it's very sweet. I, I oh, look. it tastes like the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BT continues after this. Russ LeCate, I'll bring you a little. He's got your forecast coming up next. Thank you so much, Carol. <laughs>